Hi guys, welcome to the Board of Studies portal of ICAI. Our attempt is to be solving every possible question of SCPM, whether it is from the modules which we have already put on our YouTube channel, complete detailed. Detailed means we not only answer the questions, but then we also try to say the concepts around that, the summary up and so on. Towards the end, you will be getting a QR code that will give you the playlist of all the MCQs of CA final, okay, from the module. Now we are on to board of studies. Now, please do remember that there are some questions which are common in your module and in your board of studies. Now, those questions I have already covered in the module. Hence, those questions will not be done from the board of studies portal because they are already there on our YouTube channel. Two things, you can join our Telegram channel and the group for the frequent updates on this subject. Apart from that, in case you wish to be enrolling for the complete course, then the link is there in the description. And one news for all CA inter students, not CA final, for CA inter students, our complete costing lectures will be soon available on our YouTube channel, completely free, full lectures, including the soft copy, including the test that I hold after each and every subject. My aim is just to bring the best content, best concepts across India and absolutely no payment for that. Okay, the announcement will be coming on the YouTube channel itself. And every week, two lectures will be put on Saturday, Sunday. Lectures will be coming in English and Hindi combined also and in complete English also. Let's start it off the question for today. So we are on to our chapter number two, that is modern business environment. And the question for today is which one of the following is not the aim of strategic supply chain management? Okay. Now, supply chain management is what? We will see that in just a while. Bring me the four options, please. So the four options are develop a supply network that can cater a raw material requirement with a minimum lead time okay so try to have a supplier network who supplies you the material so therefore you can get the material in as fast time as possible okay second one second one focus on customers whose lifetime value is very profitable now lifetime value actually means what it's a total amount that you earn from the customer over the entire lifetime of the customer over the entire lifetime means Till the time customer will remain with you. Example, now I buy phones only of Samsung company from 2002. So therefore I have bought like, you know, their blue eye phone also in 2002. Then I have bought, uh, now I don't remember the models also, but say Note 2 also, then Note 3 also, Note 6 also, Note 8 also, Note 10 also. After 10, they directly uh, upgraded to 20, 20 also, then 22 also, and the latest ones also. Okay, so therefore, total amount that Samsung has earned from me, that is Samsung's customer life value. For companies, it matters a lot, okay, because that shows how good your products are, else why will customer again buy them? So then, the third one. The third one over here is that ensuring proper communication and information system that will ensure robust functioning of the organization. Okay. Fourth. Fourth over here is frequent changing of suppliers and sales. Okay. See. Now, first of all, what do you mean by supply chain management? Now, supply chain management is basically that we are an organization. We purchase from the suppliers that you will see on your screen right now. And ultimately, this material has to be converted into finished goods and distributed to the final customer. All the processes in middle, all the processes in middle are going to be part of your supply chain. Try to be thinking that supply chains have to be very robust. Robust means they should not be delicate. Just because something happened, it should not be breaking. Like in COVID times, it had happened. Like, you know, supply chains across the world were all broken because no material was coming from China. Now that thing should not happen. So having a robust supply chain means getting the material from the supplier, converting that into the finished goods and finally uh, selling it off to the customer. This chain, okay, this process should not be broken. It should not be a very delicate process. It should be a very robust process. Obviously, there are a lot of parts of supply chain management. First thing is raw material, of course, coming in this case, from the supplier. So therefore try to be thinking we have a supplier or we have bunch of suppliers from whom we buy quality material. Now one thing to note over here these days no you should always spend lot amount of money on something called as vendor development. Now vendor development means what try to train the vendor to the exact needs of the raw material that we require. 
so therefore your efforts are less it should happen like you know that supplier sends you quality material which you do not need to be inspecting automatically your inspection cost in this case will start to be coming down you can concentrate on your production okay so therefore raw material is going to be uh, supplied by supplier to us we are over here in the factory so therefore once a the material will be coming to us in our factory we will convert them into finished goods once that thing is done we need to distribute it across the country or across our markets okay through the wholesalers through the distributors etc okay now through the distributors the material will be reaching to the uh, material means the final goods okay will be reaching to the retailers and finally to the consumer over here all this process in middle is going to be called as supply chain management so therefore whatever you all see on your screen right now this is nothing but the diagram of supply chain management and this is how it works now there are two parts of this which i might not much go through it's called as upstream supply chain that is everything from factory to the raw material this is called as upstream supply chain then there is something called as downstream supply chain from the factory to the customer that is going to be called as downstream supply chain okay now if i come back to the question try to be thinking about each and everything just one small thing those guys had to be saying okay the question was what okay i'll go back to the question first so which of the following is not aim of strategic supply chain management it is not the aim of strategic supply management okay now see now strategic supply management first develop a supply network that can cater to the raw material with minimum lead time of course you should try to concentrate on this point as part of supply chain management why if you will get the material fast in case of any problem or just like that also you will be able to get the material faster so therefore you should always try to have a local supplier like you know these days there is made in india programs whereby it is always told like you know why should we try to be, be depending upon import stuff always yes few things like technology should be imported but if it can be made in india for you the lead times will be less the material will directly uh, reach you without the customs up and so on so first one is true so therefore that cannot be the answer focus on customers whose life value is very profitable now one of the parts of supply chain is nothing but your final customer so therefore you should try to have those customers whose life value is very high that will ensure that your profitability is high third one ensuring proper communication and information system that will ensure robust functioning of the organization now please do remember good communication is heart of any organization today if you do not have proper information systems might be you will not be able to function when is material coming when it was left when did it leave from the supplier when it will reach us we have produced something how much time will it take for production then once we produce how much time will it take for distribution when the goods will reach to the final customer all these things do matter think of that suppose like you know you buy something on amazon and you do not know when it will get delivered okay will it work for you it will not be working so therefore that good communication okay good information systems only will lead to good supply chains your material suppose the material you are importing say from china okay you don't know when it will reach over here okay it becomes very difficult so therefore these days there is tracking of everything that happens okay third fourth frequent changing of supplier and sales now please do remember that one of the things that basically makes your supply chain effectives are not frequent changing of the suppliers and sales if suppliers will keep on changing try to be thinking that you will not be able to have a process only so therefore you should always try to have same suppliers okay if they are good obviously if they are not good then you should be changing them but then we do not believe in trying to be changing suppliers now and then so therefore supply should not be changing okay see if a supplier has been there with you for years he understands your requirement okay he will know your lead times that in how much time he has to be trying to be delivering he will take care of the quality that you all want there is one thing second frequent changing of suppliers and sales sales means uh, sales uh, distribution 
Example, we are a factory. Okay, we supply to the wholesalers. Okay, wholesalers are also called as distributors. If your distributors will keep on getting change, okay, it will become very difficult for you to take control of your sales. Okay, your distributors over a period of time will start to be understanding like, you know, that when do we supply and where they have to be selling. So, therefore, you should always concentrate on having the same suppliers and the sales uh, distributors, but provided they are good and they understand. Okay. So therefore, last one I try to be thinking it is not correct. So therefore, frequent changing of suppliers and sales is a false statement. In supply chain management, we always try that there is no frequent change of suppliers and sales. So that should be the correct answer. Yeah, that is the correct one. So it's all okay for today. Our video is done. Just one small thing. This is uh, the explanation of the institute. We all can uh, skip that. I've explained everything. This is the QR code of the playlist of the MCQs from CA final SCPM modules. All the MCQs which are there in all the chapters have been covered. Uh, there is a separate uh, playlist for each and every chapter also. You all can browse through our uh, YouTube channel. You will be able to get them. And uh, we are doing lot amount of efforts to ensure that this subject comes to you in a very proper way. It should be done in the way like, you know, so therefore it not only helps you in passing, but then gives you the knowledge that you require for your business. Okay. Thank you so much. I'll see you all now in the next video. Bye.